It's always shifting. The more I paint, the more I see of the world. <laughs> you know? I think my first real painting experience was with John Imber. He taught a summer class up in Stonington and the second year he taught it, my entire family participated. And then I stuck with it and I kept coming back every summer. What's so great about Stonington, it has that inherent beauty of the coastline, but it's a working town. There's that dynamic that's really great. I definitely spend a lot of time walking around, go about places, you know, a day or so before I'm gonna start painting. As I'm walking around anywhere, whether or not I'm painting, I'm kind of always noticing little juxtapositions of color, how they work together. I think for me, particularly with the plein air painting, I'm doing it outside. It sort of relates to drawing quite a bit, so I'm working quickly while the paint is wet and I'm still able to wipe it off and draw back into it. It was a way for me to keep this sort of light and luminosity that's in it. You, know, you can see kind of drawing marks in the painting. I'm really using the white of the panel or the canvas to bring out the color. I kind of incorporate that all into my work. It's such a different way of painting. The shifts in light and color and pattern when you're outside, you really have to react quickly. The past couple years, I've been really interested in Superfund sites. It's an EPA designated um, site of environmental disaster. I realized that the two places I am most frequently <laughs> are next to Superfund sites. And if I'm looking at the environment around me and the landscape around me, that seemed like something I needed to acknowledge and, and try to address in my work. What I realized while I was up there is that Rachel Carson, who's like an amazing environmentalist, was in that same area and that part of Maine when she was doing her research. I read all of her books while I was there and I went through and tried to sort of retrace where she had been. She was really interested in watching the tide go in and out. And so I was also trying to capture that. So she does an incredibly beautiful job of describing it with words. <laughs> and so I was trying to figure out how do I do this in painting? And how do you, how do you catch the, like a moment or that sense of motion and movement and shift that happens as the tide goes in and out? I love the color relationships that are unexpected, so bringing in something that's not natural to the landscape. There's something really nice about having some geometric forms along with some more natural forms. I'm really interested in sort of that juxtaposition and kind of goes back to that human kind of imposition on the landscape. But I'm really interested in the story that art tells, whether it's an ancient artifact, whether it's contemporary painting. I think that all art can tell the story of its place and time, and I like being part of that. I'm Elizabeth Hoy, I'm a painter, and I'm in my studio in Greenpoint, Brooklyn.